and more players and still have a lot better to come. As you take a look at the starting lineup for Malign United, Peter Harrison, of course, is between the sticks. A back four of Palmer, Andrews, Frankson, and Gordon. Uh, in the middle of the park, Rashawn Livingston, or player to watch, Suja McBean, uh, Jeremy Nelson, and uh, Samara Dennis will be playing on the right side of the midfield. And up top, Jason Wright and uh, Thorne Simpson. Wright, of course, he scored 14 goals last term, and he's the only scorer in the Malign United unit after three match weeks. For Mount Pleasant, they have a, a few losses, players going away to represent their nation. Shaquan Davis remains between the sticks. The back four, just one change with Fitzroy Cummings coming in for uh, Jamoy Topi. Suna Makala on the left, Gawain Austin on the right. Shaquille Da will be paired alongside uh, Cummings. In the middle of the park, you have to look out for this youngster, uh, Nathaniel James from Trinidad and Tobago, 19 years old. He's expected to be a star. I'm not sure how long in this league. Doxley is beside him. And uh, Devontae Campbell, Akwasa Chong, Kimoni Bailey, uh, and Romeo Guthrie complete the starting lineup for Malign United. Yeah, for Mount Pleasant, and they'll be playing a 4 3. As we take a look at the full match highlights here, Dennis was so involved in this game and barreled his way through, was lucky. But that was a magnificent save from Shaquan Davis. Dennis thought for all the world that he had scored here. But Shaquan Davis was in the way. Gordon with the corner kick at the top of the box. Shot coming in. The deflection just missing. Yep. Just wide of the mark. But Lions United had the big chances in that first half. And... Uh, this was an opportunity, again on a platter, and uh, Simpson finding the defender. And then this one, Marlon Allen threw on goal, and uh, Peter Harrison was in the way. And Livingston making a nuisance of himself, that I felt was a clean challenge. But the referee pointed to the spot. Austin wasn't pleased at all. You can take a look, closer look there. Yeah, that was a challenge that was clean. Jeremy Nelson, though, from 12 yards scoring. The first goal of the game in the 70th minute of play. And Malign United with the advantage. And then good work by Kimoni Bailey. Robbing Palmer, setting it up for Marlon Allen. He had come on as a sub. A few minutes before Marlon Allen. And the, he would open his account this season with that touch just in front of goal. That was 1-1. And then it became 2-1. Chong with a beautiful slip pass through and barely first time. Wonderful finish. Beautiful stuff by Bailey getting his second goal of the season. And then the free kick from Jeremy Nelson, brilliantly touched over by Shaquan Davis there. And then the final bit of action, Bailey was cut down and the penalty was awarded. Push in the back there, in fact, and the Chong made it safe from 12 yards. His second goal of the campaign, and that was that. The champions coming from behind to win. Malign tonight with 12 shots, four of which were on target. Mount Pleasant had three more shots on target from their 14 uh, attempts. And 22 fouls were col uh, committed in this one. And uh, five yellow cards shown three uh, to Mount Malign United players. And uh, as you can see, there are 4-3 in terms of the corner kicks in favor of Malign United. And Mount Pleasant with the majority of the possession at 59%. Kim Oni, not an easy three points for you guys here today. A slow start, but you stuck to your task. How, you how do you feel about your performance? Well, it it's a great feeling. Um, I know my team can do it regardless of the start. 
So you know, second half, when we go inside the changing room and we get our talk, we come out and follow instruction. You scored last week, you score again this week, you won a penalty, you also had an assist. How important is it to show consistency week after week? Well, it's just the hard work that I put in in training. Once I keep consistent, I know that my results are going to turn out. And tell me how you're feeling about your time now at Mount Pleasant. Obviously, you played for Dumble Holding last season and so on. How are you feeling? Well, it's a great feeling. Well, you know, the atmosphere is different and I just got to adapt and adjust. So that's what I did. All right, excellent stuff. Congrats on your performance and we look forward to seeing you in the weeks to come. Okay, thank you. Kimoni Bailey, there are goal and a